What do you think is important about diversity? Um, I think diversity is great in an educational setting or in life because you learn from different people, from their cultures, from their viewpoints, um, new ways to look at situations and new ways to interact with people on many levels. Why do you think we have a Black History Month? I think we have a Black History Month because uh, black people throughout, throughout civilization has gone through a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff in their life and it's important that we remember all the people that have come a long way and made a lot of headway for uh, African Americans over the years. What experiences with diversity have you had in your life? Well, coming from a very small town, I've really experienced no diversity in my life until I came to Robert Morris. In my hometown, it's very, um, very a very white population. It's very small, everyone knows everyone. So coming here was a big change for me because I saw exchange students, I saw African American students, and it was just, it was different. But I've adjusted well, and Robert Morris has done a good, good way with the speakers they've had, and, uh, <laughs> All the fun activities that we do, it, it just gets, gets everyone together. Why do you think Black History Month is a good thing? Why do you think it's a good thing? I think, um, I think Black History Month is important. Because I think all of our history is important. It's important to see where we've been so that we can know where we're going. And the more we know about history, the more we can repeat the good things, not the bad things. So I think it's a history of a people. It's an exciting thing to know and be in touch with. And from. Steve, who do you think is the most influential African American in history? Well, it's hard to put a label on it because there's so many, but just to name a few, Dr. King, Malcolm X, Thurgood Marshall, uh, Jackie Robinson, Reggie Jackson, Barack Obama. Tyler, what do you think is important to understand about Black History Month? Uh, well, it might sound a little cliche, but... Uh... I think what's most important is that everybody looks back on the past and they realize the mistakes that have been made and that you just recognize um, things that black people have contributed to everyday culture. Uh, just how much we've progressed in the last couple of years. I mean, it was like 80 years ago, there was still segregation in this country and 15 years ago, there was still segregation in my country and we've all progressed from that and we're moving on forwards. So Learning from our mistakes. Drew, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why? Or who was the most influential African American in American history, and why? Bob Marley. Why? Uh, because his message was to spread love and peace. What do you think is important to uh, take away from Black History Month? I think it's pretty much you should learn from your past and pay homage to everybody that had to go through all the struggle to get where we're at. Now that we have a black president and everything, you can see that people back then were making progress. And you should just continue to make progress now. Just to realize what went on in the past and not to be ignorant towards our history, you know what I mean? Just learning from past experiences and appreciate what we have today, you know, mm -hmm. as far as voting and be able to sit in the front and just to be able to have a, our voice be heard mm -hmm. because it was important, you know? And to be ignorant towards it's just it's wrong and it's not right. And it's like, it's been dis disrespectful to our elders, you know? So it's, just, it's important to know the real essence of black history and to acknowledge our month and, and our history. What do you think is important to reflect on about the month of black history? Black History Month is important because it reminds us of everything that African Americans went through. It makes us aware of the things that we've contributed to this country, the things we've contributed to people's lives. What do you take away from Black History Month? Well, I just think it's great. Um, all the great things that the black community's done for every for the world today. Um, all the steps that our country's taken, um, being diverse and everybody's okay with it. Like an example, our president. I'd say diversity is important on a college campus because everyone comes from a different kind of background, ranging from the person who comes from a small town who's only been surrounded by people like themselves, to someone who comes from an extremely well diverse place like in a inner city school who might see all kinds of different populations so it really exposes everybody to somebody new and helps them form the person that they're going to be and become well-rounded. Uh, diversity to me means you know knowing of people of different countries and you know learning their cultures so we can one day you know work together and create like world peace. So Cleveland who are some notable figures in American history that have helped empower African Americans? I 
Okay, Frederick Douglass, he was a, an abolitionist in the um, mid-1800s. He helped spread the word about slavery. It's um, adjutant gills. Anybody else? Uh, in the early 20th century, W.E.B. Du Bois was an actor one, one of the first, uh, the first black member of the NAACP, an organization which was um, collected in order to help black people maintain professional standing and other things like that. Uh, the later, later part, middle 20th century, Martin Luther King, of course, most people are familiar with. Uh, he helped people, I mean, he helps achieve rights for people, like, um, not, not only blacks, but Jews, um, Italians, um, people who had disabilities, and he helped, he was a natural proponent who helped pass the Civil Rights Act, also forbid um, discrimination based on age or gender. Black Think, My Life as a Black Man and a White Man, was a biography written by Jesse Owens with Paul Meemark in 1971. The book is an overall record of Owens' feelings about America's racial crisis. During the book, Owens stated, the battles that count aren't the ones for the gold medals. The struggles within yourself, the invisible, inevitable battles inside all of us, that's where it's at. How does this quote affect your everyday life? Well, I, under I understand that Owens was he was one of the few Americans who was placed in a really awkward position because he was one of the first black people to win an Olympic event in, the, in a country which was incredibly racist, probably more racist than the United States was at that time. And this, this not only brought out, it, it brought awareness to the world right. during the Olympic event of the 1930s and 40s, but it brought attention to both, um, you know, the, the U.S. as well to realize, to get us to understand our own prejudices and our own experiences, even as we were gearing up to fight the fascists in Europe.